Hello, I just uh, wanted to talk a little bit about some things that I've noticed about reactions that people have to the Mandela effect and then maybe even go over uh, and kind of rehash a couple of theories and maybe expound on some. So uh, one thing I've noticed in speaking with people about certain things is when you approach someone with the subject um, and you just ask them a question out of the blue like I had an experience recently with one of my customers who happens to be Jewish and so I was talking to them about some stuff and I asked them so hey how do you spell Libya and of course this person said oh I, I think it's L-Y-B-I-A Libya Right? I said, oh yeah, yeah, that's that's how I remembered it too, you know, but I said, oh, you know, I was looking up some stuff and looking up Assad and whatnot and but funny thing is it's it's Libya L it's Lib Ya L I B Y A and uh, you know I guess it always ha you know and whatever it's kind of weird I always thought it was the other way and she goes oh yeah 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 we said a few more things and. I said, but yeah, but that's kind of weird, don't you think? You know, I, like Libya. And she goes, oh yeah, well, that's the way it's always been spelled, right? Like almost she forgot about what she had said to begin with, how she thought it was spelled. And then after we talked about a couple other things or, and I kind of brought it back around, she said, oh yeah, L-I-B-Y-A, that's how it's always been spelled, huh? And of course, she was looking at her phone at the time, uh, interestingly enough. And so I think, I think there are, I think we're being updated constantly via our Wi Fi and cell frequencies, television screens, whatever else. I just think, um, this information is being updated all the time and that's one reason perhaps why it doesn't happen uniformly is because this artificial intelligence or whatever has uh, you know it updates on the fly and since each person is different well they're they're doing different things and they get different uploads at different times I mean there are certain system updates I think that people get while we're sleeping or whatever I, I don't know how it all works out I think there are bigger updates and smaller updates and they get triggered in certain senses and um, anyway I'm going to continue on but basically I think that more people than not can actually see the Mandela effect and then they choose to do something with it um, I think sometimes it happens involuntarily and then other times more voluntary um, depending upon how willing the person is to question something or um, you know I'm not exactly sure if that's right but you know, I mean, the difference between I, there's just different kinds of people, and we're along. Um, so, you know, some of us are further along in certain areas than others. And anyway, I'm just going to continue on with a few reactions here that I see, and I I think a lot of these, as I think about them, it has to do with system updates. So. I think there are multiple technologies at work um, with the Mandela effect and with um, in fact I don't even think the man I think if we only concentrate on the Mandela effect we're not seeing it all because I think our water and our food and the skies and all they're all pieces or spokes on the wheel and the the Mandela effect is one of those spokes and so 
I'm going to I'm just going to continue on here uh how, you know, my mom she can she can see she can see a lot of them, let's just say, until I tell her that oh yeah, well, no, this is uh yeah, this is one of those <laughs> Mandela effects or all you know, she'll say, oh, is this another one of those things? And then, of course, she won't want to hear it, you know. Uh, I'm trying to get this just as low as I can so I can talk over it. And actually, what you're hearing here, this is all music I've put together or whatever. So, <sighs> you know, it's it's just amazing to me how people react to things. And some people don't know what they're seeing and other people do and so now I do think that the whole the gang stalking thing is very interesting to me because there are times I've had experiences especially um, with my ex-wife who she will just not remember certain things like she'll remember maybe the day or kind of a a big instance but boy we've ha we've had some arguments and then going back over later on she will not remember whole parts of things and that kind of goes in with um some stuff i was hearing you know rigo talk about and uh some other things that i've heard from russ dizdar and Anyway, there it just things starting to make sense where it's like uh well, it's like uh the Matrix and the uh well Agent Smith, you know, can go into certain people and Morpheus says, you know, these people were trying to pull out, you know, we love them and whatever, but they still are the enemy because they can be possessed or whatever at the time and that's kind of how it is you know with with uh, Agent Smith as he can go into whatever because they're all jacked into the same hive mind which then kind of leads me into the whole Mark of the Beast thing and whatever and I think well I think AI and okay, well, I'm not even going to get into that I'm going to try to stick to the ME here so um there are some people that just seem to be completely non-interested and try to change the subject at all costs when you bring it up. Um, I've had some people that I've spoken with about it and that seem to be genuinely interested and they're kind of tripping on it, you know, going, whoa, uh, what is this? That then when you bring it up later, maybe a week or so, they just have it's like they don't remember anything that you were talking about even though at the time they seemed pretty like wow about it you know and then they don't even remember the conversation so that seems to me to be some kind of a download or an erasing or whatever and then there's also the aggressive debunking and the aggressive reactions to it uh, which I have also experienced uh, from multiple people and it's kind of just irrational almost because it's like well if if you don't get what I'm saying or you don't uh, <laughs> you don't agree or you think it's ridiculous okay well whatever but the aggressiveness is kind of what gives away the something larger behind it so anyway there's the one that happens on the fly there's the second one that sees it consistently but then doesn't like that they see it and they would rather not uh, then there is the non-interested the the person who is interested but doesn't later remember and also the aggressive hardcore debunkers that uh, seem to be very agitated uh, at the time when you're speaking to them about it um, so anyway, those are the different things. I'm about to run out of time here, so I'm going to end it. God bless. Have a good night, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.